Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Martin Cross Nation, and for today's video, we're going to be going over and discussing the new Lark Scene Plus medal that just recently came out in the global version of the game for the Organization 13 event. Real quick, I just want to quickly mention that I know I'm about a day or two late for posting this video. Uh, that was just simply because of the fact that I felt like I was starting to get a little bit uh, overworked because of the constant amount of big videos uh, I've having I've been having to pump out this week um, especially because of the research and everything so I, I kind of took a day or two off to kind of relax a little bit uh, so well at the very least here's the video now but anyways without further ado let's go ahead and jump into today's video so first of all just like usual let's quickly go over uh, the metal itself and what it does so lark scene plus is a speed reverse metal tier 8 costs 7 gauges is an aoe metal 3 hits and has a 7 star multiplier of a 31.98 and its ability is that for two attacks she raises your reverse strength by 15 tiers your speed strength by 15 tiers lowers the enemy's speed defense by 12 tiers and lowers the enemy's reverse defense by 7 tiers now in terms of whether or not this metal is actually good or not, uh, overall I would have to say that the metal itself is actually pretty underwhelming, uh, especially considering all of the past Organization 13 metals that we've had so far. I would even go so far to say that Larxene Plus is probably going to be one of the worst uh, Organization 13 metals at the time of its release compared to all the other metals at the time of their release. Now, I don't know about you guys, but to me at least, Larxene Plus kind of comes across to me kind of like a, a weird combination of Axel Plus and Lexius Plus, but like, you know, a speed version. The Axel part being that she is a high damage AoE metal and that she provides a bunch of buffs and debuffs for not only for reverse, but for her own respective attribute as well of speed. And the Lexius Plus part comes in the form of her ability only being limited to a certain number of attacks, uh, one of them including her own attack. Now overall, there's pretty much a couple main reasons why Larxene Plus isn't really that good. If we take a look at Axel Plus and Lexios Plus real quick first to understand why they were good at the time of their release and are still good to this day more or less. For Axel Plus, the main reason why Axel Plus was so good at the time of his release was primarily because of the fact that at the time that he came out, he was actually the strongest AoE damage metal in the game that had an ability related to counters. At the time of his release, there were no Supernova medals just yet. The stained glass medals and the new foretellers were not a thing yet. And of course, the most recent Rosen medals were not obviously uh, available at that time. So at the time of Axel Plus's release, uh, he was the strongest AoE damage metal that had an ability related to counters, which was that he could avoid counters. And even if he wasn't going to be used for damage, his ability did last for two turns, which made him a viable metal to potentially use for like PvP, for example, to help carry the effects over into the next Keyblade setup. For Lexius Plus, the main reason why Lexius Plus uh, was such a good metal at the time of his release and is still pretty good to this day too, is for a few reasons. First one being the fact that he has a really high multiplier and at the very least at the time of his release he was one of the highest damage uh, metals in the entire game. The second reason was because of the fact that he was also one of the few metals in the entire game that actually provided counters, that added counters to enemies. And I believe he was also one of the few metals in the game that provided such a high amount of counters at the time as well. Now the amount of reverse buffs and debuffs that he provides for himself, making him very self-sustaining, is also pretty good and is still uh, usable to this day for setups and such. Um, however, the main reason why he was so good was primarily because of his multiplier, uh, as well as the fact that he provided counters. Larxene Plus, on the other hand, can't say any of those things. Not only does she not have an ability related to counters at all whatsoever, which does mean that if you use her against enemies with counters, she will affect them, but she doesn't have an ability that lasts for multiple turns, uh, such as like Axel Plus does, nor is she one of the strongest AoE damage metals in the game either. 
In terms of rankings, Larxene is actually the 6th highest AoE damage medal in the entire game. In first place being the current Supernova Elsa, second place being Anna and Elsa, followed by the new Foretellers, uh, and then followed by that are the Stained Glass medals, every single one of them, and then after that being the tier 8 damage debuffer medals that we got at the uh, initial phase of tier 8 medals. Now, Luxine Plus is still a very strong AoE damage metal, don't get me wrong. So it's not like she's just completely unusable. On top of the fact, she does have a decent amount of self-sustain because of her ability. Uh, but that doesn't change the fact that because of the fact that she doesn't have an ability related to counters, kind of like what Lexius Plus and Axel Plus did, that also means that I cannot compare her just to other metals that have abilities related to counters. So even in like Axo Plus's case, even though he wasn't the strongest AoE damage metal in the game at the time of his release, he was the strongest AoE damage metal in the game that had an ability related to the counters. And that was super relevant and is still kind of relevant to this day as well. The same concept kind of applies to Lexius Plus. Larxene doesn't have that luxury, which means she will be directly compared to all metals in the game now uh, in terms of their multipliers and ability instead of, say, other metals that provide or have an ability related to counters. It's also because of this fact that her multiplier is going to be compared in the same fashion. Now, at the very least, I will say there are some good points about Larxene. Uh, aside from her self-sustainability uh, that I might add, which is that if you remember back to the tier bracket in terms of the strongest AoE damage medals in the game that I mentioned a little bit earlier in the video, Larxene Plus is a lot more easier to obtain compared to all pretty much all the other uh, higher bracket AoE damage medals in the game. Supernova Elsa as of right now is pretty much uh, limited to just VIP players or is a non-mercy pull, in which case a good chunk of players are not going to really have her in the first place. Uh, same thing with Anna and Elsa. The four teller medals pretty much fell from grace and are kind of uh, not even worth looking at for their multiplier anymore and are just mainly there for their ability. The stained glass medals are used towards the beginning of the setup, which means you can still use them in conjunction with other strong AoE damage medals in the same setup anyways. And the tier 8 damage debuffer medals that we received super long ago haven't really seen much of a reprint in the longest of times, so the chances of you even having one of these if you didn't already uh, is going to be very difficult. Um, especially because of the fact that we now have the buff increase happen just recently and their debuffs are no longer really that significant and they're mainly there for damage now. So because of that, it's a very good possibility that you might not really be able to use or have any of the higher tier AoE damage medals in the game. And in that case, Larxene Plus is actually not that bad of a medal. But again, that is only if you happen to be in that type of situation. The amount of value that she provides compared to how easy it is to actually obtain her compared to previous Organization 13 medals puts her in an actually pretty good position um, where it's not a bad idea to get her if you actually want her. Now speaking about that, let's go ahead and take a look at her actual banner. So right now her banner is pretty much the same exact thing, just with a small little tweaks compared to previous Organization 13 banners, whereas this time, finally, this month's Organization 13 banner does come with a trait medal for every single time you pull from the Organization 13 banner, uh, which is something completely not done for other banners in the past, uh, which already gives a little bit extra value to a large scenes banner. Um, the other extra tweak that she has as well is the fact that you can actually attain a seven star version uh, of her medal when you mercy her compared to just a six star version like it was for the previous Organization 13 uh, medals and banners, which does give her a little bit more value because now that means you don't have to go chasing for tier eight blue fairy medals uh, from PVP, nor do you have to go wasting your blue fairy medals uh, to evolve her, uh, which also makes her a lot more viable for more casual players, people who may not be in the top of rankings, essentially, uh, to actually might want to go for her, essentially, because uh, this might actually be one of their strongest AoE damage medals as of right now. The other option that we have as well, which we haven't really seen too much before in the past, is the fact that we actually have an avatar board for Larxene now, uh, which I must say has absolutely fantastic value, uh, which is for 5,000 jewels, you can actually get a seven star copy of Larxene, including three copies of her trait medals, uh, an attack boost eight max skill, a three speed gems, uh, some chips, dales, sids, and Huey Dewey Louis. Now, because of the fact that we actually have two possible ways to actually obtain 
uh, Larxene Plus at seven star. Uh, out of the two options, the banner and the avatar board, uh, I'm gonna say right now that the avatar board probably has more of a direct, uh, better value overall compared to the banner. Not only because of the fact that it just costs far less jewels, but if you also have to be strong enough uh, where you can actually complete the entire Organization 13 event and the uh, event section of the game, um, you can pretty much get the avatar board for completely free, which is kind of unheard of in the history of this game so far. For veteran players like myself, that's actually really cool, really nice, and honestly adds a bit of an aspect to the game where it makes me appreciate what is happening, which is something that isn't really able to be said uh, very often, unfortunately. Not only for once is this like an actual free-to-play friendly uh, type of move for Square Enix, but it also rewards veteran players or strong enough players for the fact that they have uh, are so strong and can complete the entire event on their own um, to reward them with this type of medal. Now, of course, even if you can't complete the entire Organization 13 event, even if you can complete like just a good chunk of it, maybe say like the first eight stages or so, you can still get like maybe half of the jewels necessary to get the avatar board at the very least, in which case it might only cost you anywhere for maybe like two, three thousand extra jewels compared to having to chuck away an entire 5,000 jewels to get the avatar board. In which case, it's no different from just one pull on a regular banner deal in the first place. Um, so because of the fact of how much value uh, you are gaining, not only from the Organization 13 event itself, but also because of the fact of how cheap the avatar board is and how much value you're actually obtaining from the board itself, uh, the board is going to be by far the better option compared uh, between the two of the banner and the board, and I highly recommend the avatar board. Now, whether or not it's actually worth getting Larkseen in itself for, in the first place, this is pretty much what I have to say. For any player who's able to complete the entire Organization 13 event in the first place, uh, you pretty much already got a free 5,000 jewels, in which case it's completely up to you, and I see no harm in just getting the avatar board because it's literally 5,000 jewels, uh, and you can literally get the medal for free, essentially. Now, you can also choose to just hang on to those 5,000 jewels if you already have stronger AoE damage medals in the first place, especially for reverse, I might add. But that is going to be something completely up to you, because chances are, if you're already at the point where you can complete the Organization 13 uh, event in the first place without having the Lark Scene medal, then it's a good possibility that you might not even need the Lark Scene medal in the first place. So that type of decision is going to fall completely up to you. Uh, I personally got the banner because I was like, hey, why not? It's a free medal. And who knows? Someday I might actually need to use Lark Scene Plus, in which case, hey, I'm not complaining. <laughs> For everybody else who is not able to complete the entire 13 stages of the Organization 13 event, though, uh, it's going to come down to how much of the event you're able to complete and how much cheaper the actual board is for you. If you're only able to complete like half of the event, so like only like seven, eight stages, for example, uh, in which case you can only really get like what half the jewels or so. It's really going to come down to like what type of medals you have, how strong your AOE damage medals are, uh, as well as how many jewels you already have before you even did the event. So like for a free to play player, for example, if you happen to have like 60 plus thousand jewels or so and you're able to do like half of the event or whatever. Um, personally, I wouldn't see getting the avatar board as being a bad idea. It's something that's worth having on the table, but at the same time, because of the what she brings to the table or doesn't bring to the table, I should say, um, it would be okay in my opinion if you don't get Larxene Plus. Uh, and more or less, I would say the same to pretty much any other type of player out there. Although that is more so the fact for those of you that don't already have a lot of jewels in the first place. In which case, if you happen to only have like what, like a few thousand jewels before you even did the event, you're probably better off just keeping the jewels and moving on. Just because the fact that Larxene doesn't have an ability related to counters, which was pretty much one of the biggest reasons why a lot of the previous Organization 13 medals were so, so important. Um, excluding the turtle medals because obviously they're turtle medals. So overall, in terms of whether or not I think you should actually go for and chase for the Larxene Plus medal uh, from the Avatar board, it's going to ultimately just come down to A, what are your best AoE damage medals already within the game? Uh, and after taking a look at that, do you think Larxene Plus would actually help improve your setups overall? Not only right now, but even just maybe say like a few months down uh, the line in the future. But also B, how many jewels do you already have before 
you can <laughs> before you do the organization of the 13 event and see uh, whether or not you can actually complete most if not all of the organization 13 event in the first place so because of these re reasons right here it is going to vary just a little bit depending on where you are in the game right now uh, but other than that lark scene plus is not a bad metal in itself um, and the value that you're getting from the entire event and avatar board in general is actually pretty good uh, which makes getting lark scene plus a viable metal to go for but is not necessarily a necessary or needed metal to go for at the same time but other than that, I would love to hear what your guys' thoughts are in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.